this video is going to be quite a quick one. It's just a, a really, a really fast way of assigning your inputs in Cakewalk by BandLab. I would assume that a lot of people that use this software assign their inputs by clicking the selected track or the track they want to assign. Click the, the drop down here, go to their interface and choose the input. I've renamed my inputs, I've got another video about this, I'll stick it up the top of this one in case you want to check it out. But I think most people probably assign their inputs this way. I assigned all my inputs this way for probably about five years until I found out about this other feature. I think I found it by accident and it, it changed it changed the way I recorded things, it saved me a lot of time. So if, if you have something similar to me here, which is a mock-up of a drum kit, and you want to assign all these inputs to your interface, the first thing you need to do is, you need to make sure that your interface order matches your track order. So for example, if your kick drum mic is connected to interface input 1, make sure that your kick track is number one. After that, if your snare mic is connected to interface input two, make sure the snare track is track two. So on and so forth. So just match the order of your inputs to the order of the tracks in Cakewalk. So if you've got that set up, the only thing you need to do to assign these all at once is select all the tracks, hit this drop down, and select this feature. Selected track input series. It's going to bring up this assign series of inputs box, and all you have to do is click the drop down here and make sure that the first track that you've selected that corresponds to the first input on your interface. As I said before, I've renamed all my inputs, this is why they look a bit different. But by default, because I use a Focusrite Claret interface, this would probably say something like Focusrite USB ASIO input 1. But yeah, this is the first input in my interface and it's where the, the kick drum mic is connected. So just click that, and keep an eye on all of the other inputs down the side here. So just click OK, and these will all switch at once. So we've got DRS 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So that's all the inputs assigned, I would be ready to start Recording, I don't have to go through every track and change inputs one track at a time. It's just a much quicker way of setting up your inputs. However, if you've got um, tracks all over the place and you want to assign things that aren't in order, um, there is a quicker way to do that as well. So again, just go to the Tracks drop down and click Selected Track Inputs. Not series, just inputs. It will then bring up this box and you can click through your tracks and you can select the inputs here. So this might be a quicker way of doing it if you're maybe recording things that are at different parts of the session that aren't in order. But again, it's much faster doing it this way than it is going through every track, maybe scrolling a lot if you've got a lot of tracks. It's just a much a much faster way of doing it. Because you you're you're contained to the one window. You don't you have to click less and it's just a bit easier. So yeah, very quick video but um I hope it's I hope it's helpful.